All right. We're recording. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the artwork book right here. And we're on our very last page. So all you got to do is go to the very end. And if you're not at the end, it should look like this. Uh, we did this last week. So we did patterns. So you have to turn your paper over again to the last page. And this is this one right here. We're going to be talking about the color wheel. If you don't have this part of the workbook, or if you don't have the workbook entirely, you can do this on free drop paper. So what you need to do is a few things, okay? So if you don't have the workbook, I'll show you guys what to do. All right. So if you do have the workbook, if you do have this page, just watch me for now. But if you don't have the workbook, all you're gonna do is draw a nice big circle on your page, just like this, okay? You're going to divide it in half, and then you're gonna draw a nice big X, a nice big X, just like this. Just so your project or your paper looks like all of us in our workbook right here, okay? So if you don't have the workbook, it's fine, as long as you guys are doing it on a nice blank sheet of paper. If you don't have either of those things, watching is fine as well, okay? So I did do it last class with my other kindergarten class I just had a couple minutes ago. So this is what it looks like, but we're going to go over it together right now. So before we get started, there is a couple things I want you guys to take a look at. If I look over here, it says, I can learn the color wheel. And then it says, review your knowledge of the primary and secondary colors by coloring the color wheel. So we're going to go over two things on this project, even though there's six, we're going to go over the primary colors. And we're also going to go over the secondary colors. And I did write them out right here for you guys as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to color in order, and we're going to talk about why there's only three of each. And then we'll talk about some other stuff afterwards. Okay? So here we go. Can anyone tell me, what is one primary color? Can anyone volunteer and tell me by raising their hand? What is one primary color? If you don't know any of the primary colors, there is a hint here. As you guys can see, there's a couple hints here. So what are what is one primary color? I'm just asking for one. Uh, Kaylee, what's one primary color? Ew. Blue. Blue, good job. So if you have a blue crayon like me, or if you have a blue marker like this one, or something that's blue, maybe like a blue pen, that'll work too. All you're gonna do is find where it says the word blue on your little wheel right here, or big wheel, I should say. And I found it to be on the bottom left-hand corner, so right over here. So if you have a blue, something that's blue, I just want you guys to color that in completely like this. And just like color it completely in. However, if you don't have the color blue, what some kids do sometimes is that they take a marker or a pencil and they just draw something that's blue instead. So maybe I'll draw some blueberries here like this. Maybe I'll draw like a blue blanket or something or something else that's blue. But otherwise, if you do have something blue, just color the whole thing blue. Okay, just like this. There you go. All right. I'll wait a little bit. As I'm waiting, I will return my blue to its correct spot. Right like there. I like to stay nice and organized. That way I can find things later. Jaden, do you have a question? No, just stretching. What's your question? Um, my question is, why daily cut out? Oh, uh, I can't quite hear you though. Can you say it one more time? Why don't daily cut Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll just try to tune in because you can if no way I can. It's okay. I'm going to mute you though. Okay. Now, I uh, do you want to move on. There's two more primary colors. Does anyone know one of them? There's only two more primary colors left. Last class had a little bit of trouble, which is fine. Samir, what's another primary color? 
Red. Good job. I want you guys to find something like red, like a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil. And then you're going to find. Oh, hold on. Kaylee, you're not going to move you. Sorry. All right. Well, it's still. Hold on, guys. <laughs> it's hard to see who's. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you want to find where it's red. And I found on my sheet on the top left hand corner. So again, you're either going to draw something that's red or color this whole entire red triangle right here. Just like this. Otherwise, you could draw something that's red, maybe like cherries or something. Or I don't know, something else. Or an apple. Liam, what's your question? Yellow. OK. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was a that was an answer actually. <laughs> uh, so the next color is going to be like Liam said is yellow. Okay, so we want to find the yellow here. Okay, if you don't have a yellow, you can use a marker, even a yellow highlighter, and then you're gonna place the yellow on the very right side right here. So again, you can either draw something that's yellow if you don't have the color, or you can take a yellow coloring supply and color that section in yellow. And you're going to notice that I specifically skipped a couple triangles here because there's something important I want to talk about before we move on. OK. These three are the three only primary colors in the world, right? There's only three primary colors, and that's it. The reason why they're called the primary colors is because you can't make them any other way. You can't mix two colors together, and you can't make them equal themselves or anything like that. So whatever it is, it's there. So red is red, yellow is yellow, and blue is blue, and you can't mix any colors to make them. But these next colors are called secondary colors. The next three are called secondary colors. So these include orange, green, and violet. Now, orange is made by mixing two colors together. Anyone tell me? What do you get? Uh, what do you have to mix to get orange? Anyone know? What's plus what equals orange? Isa, do you know what it is? Red and yellow. Good job. She found that out by looking at what's beside them in the color wheel. So if red's on this side and yellow's on this side, in the middle of it is orange. So I want you guys to find an orange and then color that section orange. If you don't have something that's orange to color with, then I want you guys to draw something that's orange instead. Okay? All right, I apologize for moving a little bit quicker, but I want to make sure I get this done on time. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to ask you guys the reverse question this time. Who can tell me what's yellow plus blue? What does it equal? Anyone know? What's yellow plus blue? Maya. Go ahead. Green. Good job. So she was looking probably down here or from her general knowledge. And so we could see that yellow and blue are almost next to each other. But in between that should be green. Good job. So I'll call that in. Otherwise, you can draw something instead. Maybe you'll draw like a leaf or something or something else that's green. All right, we only have one color left. And it says right here, as you can read it, it says the word violet. There's also another word for it. It's also known as the word purple. So if you have something that's purple, like a marker, a crayon, a color pencil, they work just as fine. Or if you don't have any supplies, if you just have something to draw with, then just draw something that's purple instead. So maybe I'll draw grapes, just like that. So that's fine too. But if you have color supplies, then color that section appropriately, just like that. All right. That should finish up the last page of our workbook, which is awesome. If you're done, give yourself a, a pat on the back because we just finished this big workbook. And what I'm going to do is that I want to close it up and store it away. Because we're not going to be needing our workbook for next time. Uh, we're going to be doing a book activity, and I'll show you guys what to draw 
So just next week, all you need is something to draw with and a blank sheet of paper. So that's for next week, guys. All right, so how did you guys do on the coloring wheel? You guys did good? Yeah? Oh, I see some people holding theirs up. Anzar, Alexander, nice job. Maya, good job. Vincenzo, good job. Or Vinny, good job. Evelyn, good job. Aza, good job. I see a lot of folks are not done with the color wheel yet. If you didn't finish it, it's okay. You need to finish it on your own time or whenever you get a chance. Good job. I'm going to stop recording now.